Guys, it's Christmas. <laughs> and after a, quite a long wait, I've only just um, got my uh, thingy, my presents. I have gotten exactly what I wanted. <laughs> um, usually at Christmas, I would get a lot of stuff, but uh, recently I found that I don't want much, but what I want is really expensive. So to be fair, most of what I just got is just like edibles and money. But there was one thing I really, well, two things I really wanted. Smash for Wii U, which I got, and uh, £20 for Google Play, and I got 25 so that's even better. So, here we go. I've never opened a, a pack this big before. I'm going to get 26 packs right here. And because I just hit Taco League and all today, while I was waiting, um, I, if I'm not happy with the results, I can always open a couple more. Now, I thought a lot... Sorry, I just ran up the stairs to do this video. I was so excited. <laughs> I thought a lot about which pack I should get. Um, because the, uh, at, f at first I thought I should take a set 2 pack, because set 2's legendaries are absolutely game changing. The ones that work are just so immensely effective that it just seems like I had to take it. But then I started looking at it again, and honestly, about half, uh, as I said, uh, set 2 is half trash legendaries and half good legendaries. And now that Stomping On basically replaced Intergalactic Warlord, Intergalactic Warlord isn't as amazing as he used to be. So now there's even more trash in the pile. So even if you do get something, uh, so although if I do get something good, it will be truly game changing for me. Um, I'm expecting three legendaries in one of these packs because usually I get one or two in a multi pack, so this is double a multi pack plus more. So I'm expecting three, and I think if I get three legendaries, I don't think the chances are that high, knowing my luck, that I will get one that I actually really want. Maybe I'll get a fun one, but not actually one I actually really want. So I thought, oh yeah, that's a fair point. Set one legendaries are far more consistent, they, uh, so they're probably the better option. But looking at the set like one legendaries, while they are technically more consistent, there's also some that have become obsolete, because they used to be amazing, but just because the meta's so fast, they're not so good anymore. Zombot would suck. Teleport would kind of suck if I only got one. Uh, Dead Beer Barrel would suck. Crickster would even suck, because even though that's one of the best, it started out as one of the best legendaries in the game, now it's actually not even that good. I wouldn't recycle it, but like if he got one more, like if he got a small nerf, I would recycle him. Like If he became a 5-5, five five, I'd recycle him. Anyway, um... So yeah, and also Gargfeast is another victim of this. There's just so many things I could get that I uh, that would I would be happy with, but I wouldn't be able to use in most situations. And so I actually came to the last thought uh, I ha I I never thought I'd get a set three pack. Basically, I just thought that's basically it's not going to be set three because I thought. Oh, well, Settler 3's legendaries are so inconsistent and blah, blah, blah. And I was mainly thinking of the zombie side. And yeah, Mondo Bronto is meh at best. Um, G uh, Mime Gog is not a thing. And Gondola is not as good as it's cracked up to be. But Gondola is still a better finisher than Sharktronic Sub. And looking at the plant side, I thought Cobb Cannon would be kind of trash, but with all the buffs it got before it's released, it's actually become one of the best legendaries in the game. Uh, Gloom Shroom I haven't used yet, but looks absolutely amazing too. Triceratops is a card that basically fits in every deck no matter what. Lama Plurdon is a great legendary to put in the Nightcap Welcome to Hell deck, which is one of the best plant decks in the game. And the only problem with it is you can't really fit legendaries in because they're expensive, so that fixes that problem. Really, Bat Gatling P is the only bad legendary for plants, and... Um, even then, it's not complete trash. It's just not quite worth legendary, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah. I think I'm going to get a set 3 pack. Um, also, if I get a, another Stompadon or another um, Gondola, when set 4 comes out, their recycle value will be 4,000 sparks. Which will be amazing. Um, as well as this, some of these cards are getting buffed. Gatling P is going to be a 5-4 which instead of a 4-5, which might make it worth it. And Garg, uh, uh, Mime Garg is going to be a 5-7, which I don't think will make it worth it, but it's, you know, an improvement. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get right into it. And I'm just going to pause the video because obviously I'm going to be putting in, like, details for buying it. So. Oh, here we go. My connection isn't too good up in my room and also the door is closed. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I've never had an opening this big. The, the closest thing I've had to this is the ele is the multi-pack opening on beta Caratina packs. By the way, they're back, so with the remaining 5 quid, I might get um, some gems for those. Okay, now here's the thing. 
I knew that I'd get loads of copy of Trash Uncommons and Rares, which is why I was kind of reluctant to do this. But that's true of every set except set 2, which seemed like the worst option. Um, after I really thought about it. Really, set 2 is the only set I don't have um, a a every Uncommon or Rare I want. The only rare that I w Uncommon or Rare I want in set 1 is um, Hibernating Berry, which even then I don't think I could do that much with. Um, and in set 2, really all I want is Super Rares. Uh, sorry, not Super Rares. Um, in fact, I can't even remember. There's a couple cards, but not that many. Okay, the... Uh, these things are now gonna be are gonna be worth one thousand sparks when uh, they get nerfed to four threes. Gargalus getting buffed. Oh, here we go. We got a legendary at the very least. Crag Caratops. That's a good one. Here we go. Gloom Shroom. Three. Lima Blurdon. A fourth one. Oh my god. A five. <laughs> oh my god. That was amazing. That was amazing! I, I thought that it, I was thinking I was being a little bit optimistic, hoping for three legendaries, and I got five! And I didn't get any bad legendaries. I've already got four Stompadons, but I don't mind, because these are going to be worth. Right, okay. I've, I've tallied it up, and before I got this pack, I knew that if I recycled all the cards that get nerfed when set four comes out, I would be able to get. I would have 50,000 sparks. Uh, approximately, I think it was actually something like 49,600. Yeah, 49,600 sparks. Now with this, that's another 4,000. So, that's, basically, let's call it 50,000, uh, 50, and that would make it 54,000. 55,000. Oh, wow. Uh, Blob's getting nerfed, um, so that's um, thingy. I just realised I can't press the recycle extras button, because some of the ones that I'm trying to save are extras. Ah, uh, um, right, this is going to be a, a, a job to recycle. Yeah, I'll just do it carefully over time. Anyway, wow, what a rush. It's so tempting to press that button. Wow, just, just wow. I got copies of a lot of legendaries too. The only one that wasn't a copy was uh, this one, which is actually a really good thing. Wow. And you know what? We're not even done yet. Because we're about to switch over to another game. Because, I don't know if I've actually done a video on this yet, I don't think I have. I have been playing Hearthstone. I've been not doing alright with some Raz with this Raza Priest deck, but I've basically recycled my entire collection to get Raza. I already got uh, Anduin as my legendary for free legendary for Knights of the Frozen Throne. And also I got Dragon Soul from uh, Kobolds and Catacombs. So when I got Dragon Soul, I thought that was a sign I basically need to just go all in on, on Priest. But this will give me a chance to branch out again and try the other classes without having to use, like, literally just the starter cards. Because the only other good cards I have are Ultimate Infestation, I crafted two, and I crafted two Jade Idols. Anyway, look, here we go. This is why I wanted 20 quid specifically, because that cost me 16 quid and this cost me 4 quid. So this literally adds up perfectly. Uh, but now it, it's even better than that because I'm going to have 5 left over. But, right. I do not plan on being a pay to win on Hearthstone like I am. Well, I'm not full on pay to win, but I definitely up there on uh, Heroes. Like, I definitely am not a free to play on Heroes. Um, uh, and I know you're going to say, well, you spent 16 quid on it. I'd just like to point out that is the most money I've ever spent in it in one go. <laughs> ever. But anyway, um, this, um, this pack is great value by Hearthstone standards. Getting um, I mean, it's good value by Hero standards too, but... Yeah, basically, you get 10 packs and you're guaranteed one random class legendary. So, like, a legendary you can only use with one class. Now, I wasn't really too excited for this at first, because I've seen that the legendaries in Hearthstone are very different. There is a lot more... It's kind of like... They're all kind of like set two in Heroes. The legendaries are mostly... They're all either game-changing or really bad. There's very few in the middle ones. So I thought, knowing my luck, I'm probably just going to get a bad one. Or I'm going to get a game-changing one, which I don't have the cards to support. But I've actually looked at the set one class leg specific legendaries, and most of them are quite flexible. And really, there aren't really any bad ones. Like, they are surprisingly good. Like, I didn't know Edwin, Edwin Van Cleef was a rogue legendary from set one. 
I, I, I didn't realise that. And a 3-2-2 that two, two, like gets plus 2 plus 2 for every card you played that turn seems overpowered to me. I don't, like, I've seen the card, like, a few times, but I don't see why I, I, why I don't see it more. And stuff like, I could get, um, thingy, uh, I could get Prophet Valen, which would f go so well with my Priest deck. Um, and on top of that, literally the only one I don't want is the Druid Legendary. And even then, it's just, like, good stats still. And uh, I kind of don't want the Hunter Legendary, but a nine, I'm not going to complain about a 988 charge if I get it. But anyway, here we go. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I need to actually... It didn't ask for my password last time, so... Um, yeah, I can get away with it. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> Literally, I was just like, Prophet Veil, I, seriously, Prophet Veil was probably the best thing I could have gotten from this, and I just got him. I don't believe it. <laughs> My god. That is perfect. Four damage, zero cost, hero power, a Shadow Reaper, and a win. That is going to be completely broken. And if, on top of that, all the healing doubled, oh wow. That's going to give longevity to my deck. Right. Almost every pack is just rare, 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 rare. Literally, so far, um, besides the guaranteed legendary, which was Togwaggle from uh, Cobalts and Catacombs, since uh, since Cobalts and Catacombs came out, I've gotten an epic, and that's it. Uh, everything else has been um, uh, has been common or rare, and I'm not counting King Togwaggle because that's trash. Okay, nothing too crazy. I uh, don't expect anything too crazy. I'm hoping to get at least one thing that's quite interesting in one of these packs. Oh, we got an epic. Huh. I'm not sure if that's really good or really bad. I guess it'll help out against Dr Jade Druid. I'm not sure if I, uh, what deck I could fit that in, though. Oh, this seems quite good. I don't see many people running this card, but maybe I guess that's just because no one plays Shaman, which I can't blame him for. But I don't see that card too much, and to me it looks really good. I don't know. De uh, dealing small damages will actually give the spell token some use. And silencing is pretty useful from what I've seen. Hmm. Well. Oh, another epic. What? Oh, I didn't think this was from set one. This is, um... I think that's pretty good. I don't even actually know. I think it's pretty good. It looks pretty good. Because uh, that could be a 088 if I'm ever on low health. I don't think that would work in the priest deck. Oh, you know, that, that's, that's that's really helpful. If I didn't get that pack, what was I on? Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> right, sorry about that. Just a second. Okay, I'm, I wasn't really keeping count, but I don't think I lost my pack. That's a lag. Oh, this card seems quite useful. I don't remember if I have it. I should probably check these more closely, but, like, I keep seeing a lot of filler, so I'm kind of overlooking it. I'll go look back and look at it later. Ooh, Lightspawn. Yeah, I'm not really, um, I'm not really sure if this will fit very well. But it does look like a good card, so I definitely am not like against the idea of having it in the deck. I just don't want too many expensive cards because you want cheap cards to trigger Anduin. Oh, this is quite good. I know Jade Claws is better, but I don't have Jade Claws, so whatever. And then a weapon for Shaman's quite useful for me since I don't have one. Um, I've already gotten Unleash the Hounds, but it's good to have another one. Slam looks good. Oh, Abomination! Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good one to have. That's a good, um, I don't have many board clears, so yeah. Well, what's with the lag? Right, <laughs> uh, where's the two, oh, this one. Eh, this seems kind of bad. That seems really good. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Bad. That could be pretty good. Right, well, anyway. That was a little less exciting, but obviously I spent a lot less on that, but still. that's quite It's quite amazing that I got Prophet Valen, and I'm obviously more excited about these cards in Heroes. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here because, well, 
I've got a lot of recycling to do. I know I've done recycling on camera before, but I don't think you'd want to see all of this. <laughs> so I'll, I'll see you in the next one in a, a few years when I'm done with this.